Hello there, welcome to Cyber Hashira. In this video, I will show you how to generate digital signatures using OpenSSL. I will be using RSA and ECDSA based keys to generate those signatures. Please watch my previous video on generating key pairs if you don't know how to uh, generate key pairs. For this video, I already have an RSA and ECDSA based uh, keys which I will be using to generate digital signatures. So let's dive into it and see how it works. Non-repetition is used to provide a proof of authenticity. This is done by generating a digital signature using a private key. A digital signature generated by a private key owner can be verified by someone who has the associated public key. Digital signatures can also be used as a proof that a signed data wasn't tampered with. I'm going to show you a simple way to generate a digital signature using RSA based keys. I already have uh, two types of keys generated. So I have a, a ECDSA private key and there's a public key. And here I have RSA private key and the public key. For this exercise, I will be using a text file Jack and Jill. And uh, this is the file that I will be signing for today's exercise. To sign my text file, I would run the command OpenSSL RSA UTL dash sign just to uh, tell OpenSSL that I, I, I want to sign some data. In key is going to be the key that I want to use for signing and it's going to be my private key. Input is going to be the text file that I want to sign, which in my case is jackandjill.txt. And the output is going to be the, the file where I want the signature to be uh, stored so this is a command i'm going to hit enter and here's my signature file if i need to verify the signature i would run the command rsa sorry open ssl rsa utl dash verify in key is going to be my public key so rsa.pub I also need to tell OpenSSL that the key that I'm passing as an input is actually a public key. So I do that using pubin. Input is going to be jackandjill.txt.sig. So this is my signature file and I'll hit enter. And as you can see, I'm, I'm getting the, the data that I signed in clear. Now I'm seeing the data that I signed in clear because RSA Util is actually performing a verify recover operation. Verify recover operation tries to recover raw data from a signature. Also, this method cannot be used to sign a large data. The size of data cannot be more than the size of RSA key uh, minus 11 bytes. To sign large data, you should be using a hashed base algorithm. Let me show you how it's done. So I'll uh, clear the screen. To generate a hash based signature for my text file, I would run the command OpenSSL SHA1. So I will be using SHA1 algorithm to generate the hash. Sign, um, I'm going to pass my private key and I'm going to output the signature into jackandjill.txt.signature and I'm going to pass jackandjill.txt as an input. I'll hit enter. And if I need to verify this data, I would run the command OpenSSL SHA1-verify rsa.pub. So this is going to be my public key. Signature. Signature is going to be uh, my sig file. And I'm going to pass jackandjill.txt as an input. And the output says verified OK. Let's try. Uh, let's uh, let's see what happens if I try to tamper with this uh, text file. So I'm going to open jackandjill.txt in a text file, and I'm going to just enter some random characters, and now I'm going to run this verification command, and I clearly see verification failed. Verification is failing because the data I'm using to verify the signature is not the same data which was used to. Uh, generate the signature. 
Similarly, I can use another hashing algorithm to generate a signature. So this time I'm going to use OpenSSL SHA-256 uh, dash sign. I'm going to sign it with my private key. Output should be jackandjill.txt.sec and the file that I'm passing as input is going to be jackandjill.txt. I'm going to hit enter and to verify the signature, I'm going to run the command OpenSSL SHA-256-verify. I need my public key for verification and the signature is jackandjill.txt.sec and this is the file and it says verified OK. Let me remove what I entered in jackandjill.txt. I'm going to remove all of this. And now if I ver verify this data, I'm getting verification failure. I'm going to try generating a digital signature using my ECDSA key. So open SSL, it's the same command. So open SSL SHA-256 sign. I want to sign it using my ECDSA private key. Uh, store the output signature into this file and the file that I want to sign is jackandjill.txt. I'll hit enter and to verify I can run the command open SSL SHA-256 dash verify dash uh, ecdsa.pub dash signature is going to be jackandjill.txt.sec and the file that I want to verify it against and it says verification OK. An alternate way to generate a hash based signature is to use OpenSSL DGST command. So if I run the command OpenSSL DGST dash list, uh, these are all hashing algorithms that are supported by OpenSSL. I can pick any one of them and use. For example, I've been using SHA-256. I'll use uh, this one. So the command is going to be OpenSSL DGST and I'm going to paste what I copied dash sign. I'm going to sign it with my RSA private key. I want to write the output of uh, of this command into jackandjill.txt.sig and the file that I want to sign is jackandjill.txt. I'll hit enter and if I need to verify this data, I can run the command openSSL dgst sha 256 verify. I'm going to verify it using uh, the public key, uh, RSA public key. The signature is in jackandjill.txt.sig sig and the text file is jackandjill.txt i'll hit enter and i get the output verified okay similarly if i need to use my ecdsa key the command is going to be same open ssl dgst sha 256 i'm going to sign it using my ecdsa private key I'm going to output the signature in jackandjill.txt.sig and the file that I want to sign is jackandjill.txt. I'll hit enter and uh, to verify this data or verify digital signature, I can run the command openSSL dgst sha256. This is the hashing algorithm. I'm going to verify it using my ECDSA public key. The signature is in the file jackandjill.txt.sig and the file that I want to verify is jackandjill.txt. I'll hit enter and it says verified OK. By default, OpenSSL uses PKCS1 padding scheme for signatures. If you want to use a different padding scheme, then uh, the command is going to be OpenSSL DGST SHA-256. This is the hashing algorithm. And I'm going to use RSA private key. And then I'm going to pass a new option called SIG opt or signing option. And here I'm going to specify the RSA padding mode as PSS. 
I want to output the signature into jackandjill.txt.sig and the file that I want to sign is jackandjill.txt. I'll hit enter and the signature has been generated. Let's try to verify the signature. So open SSL DGST dash 256 dash verify and I'm going to use my public key and the signing option is RSA padding underscore mode PSS signature is jackangel.txt.sig and the file that I want to verify is jackangel.txt and it says verified OK. Let's try to remove the padding scheme. Let's uh, let's see what happens if I let OpenSSL use PKCS1 padding scheme. I immediately see an error message that says verification failure. And finally, OpenSSL has pkutil command, which can be used to sign some data. Before pk before using pkutil, um, you first need to generate a hash of your file and then pass that hash as an input to pkutil. So I'm going to run the command OpenSSL SHA-256 dash binary because I need a, a binary output. And I'm going to output this into, okay, I'll just call it hash. And the name of the file is jackangel.txt, which I want to hash. Okay, binary hash is generated. Now I will pass this hash into pkutil as an input. So the command is going to be openSSL pkutil sign using, um, okay, I'll use my ECDSA private key. Input is going to be hash and output is going to be jackangel.txt.sig. This is where I want the digital signature to be written. And I will pass pk opt digest colon sha 256. Uh, dash pk opt digest colon sha 256. Using this switch or using this option, I'm telling OpenSSL pk util that the input that I'm passing is a sha 256 hash. I'm going to hit enter. Digital signature is generated. Now let's verify the signature. I'm going to verify the signature using OpenSSL pkutil verify using ECDSA public key and dash pub in. Input is going to be hash and uh, signature file is going to be jackangel.txt.sig. So this is a file that contains the signature. I'm going to hit enter. And I get a message that says signature verified successfully. Let's try to tamper with this data. I'm going, I'm not going to uh, tamper hash file directly. Let's try to generate uh, a new random data. So I'm going to do uh, OpenSSL ran dash out and I'll just name it hash two, 32. Now I'm going to run the same command which I used to verify. Uh, it's not the same command. I have to change the file name to hash2. And now I see a message that says signature verification failed. And that is all I have for you in this video. I taught you how to generate digital signatures using OpenSSL. Please use the link in the description to my GitHub page to access my notes. Leave a like if you like this video. I upload new videos like this every week. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you folks next week with another video. Have a good one.